Good morning, first grade. Today, for reading, for part of our reading, we're going to be talking about captions. Now, when you have a picture in a book, whether it's a science or social studies book, or a reading book, or a book that you're reading for fun, especially when they're nonfiction, you will oftentimes find pictures. And underneath those pictures, you see some words. Those words are called captions. What the captions do, they tell readers more about the photos or pictures that there are. Sometimes people draw pictures and then there'll be a caption. Other times they'll take them with their camera and then they'll have a caption. They'll have words that go with it to explain those pictures in more detail. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at the pictures that are on this sheet. And we're going to circle the caption that goes with the picture. So why don't you go ahead and first go ahead and put your name on that paper. If you hear the giggling, I'm sorry. My girls are having a lot of fun in their bedroom while I'm working. All right. So let's look at this first picture right here. We have two choices for this caption. This is life on a farm or this is life in a city. Which sounds like a better caption based on that picture? This is life on a farm or this is life in a city? Well, I'm gonna look at this picture. I see a barn, I see a silo. The silo holds corn and grain for the animals. I see a, a fence and I see some cows. Am I going to find cows and a barn and a silo in the city? No. So go ahead. You can choose the box or circle. This is life on a farm. Okay. Number two. It says horses carry goods today or trucks carry goods today. Goods are the things that we get. Goods are the things that we get, the things that we buy, and they're given to us. They're delivered to us, okay? So what is this picture showing? Do horses carry goods today or trucks carry goods today? Well, you can see clearly this is not a picture of a horse delivering anything or carrying anything. It is definitely a truck. It shows that trucks carry goods today. All this would need to say on the side of it is UPS, right? Or Amazon. It's a big one, isn't it? Or it might say USPS, and that would be the mail, right? The mailman, mail lady. Okay, let's look at number three and four. Numbers three and four. Number three says... People rode in these long ago, or people ride in these today. What do you think? I can see a horse, and I see almost like a carriage. You can see it has a cover over the top of it, or maybe you'd call it a buggy. Uh, that's typically what people rode in, but not recently long ago, before the time of cars. So go ahead and circle or box. People wrote in these long ago. And number four, look at the picture. People get water from a sink today. People got water from a well long ago. Well, I can take a look and I know that that's not a sink. That actually looks like a well. A well looks like this. It's brick. And what it does is they dig, 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 dig into the ground until they hit lots of water. Then they would take this bucket and they would unwind the cord. They'd be able to get water into their bucket. And then they have to wind it back up so that the bucket comes back up full of water. That's not today. That's long ago. Okay. 
Very good. When you are done with all four of those pictures with me and you've double checked that your name's on it, please make sure that this sheet also gets back into your Thursday folder.